What is up, guys? Max Mobius here with episode 12 of the Saving of Ring of Honor series as we try to uh, save it one step at a time here as we're in April of 2017. We are two months in, and uh, we're doing really good, actually. I'm surprised how well we're doing. We're at 90 momentum. That is... That's real nice. <laughs> that's fucking nice. <laughs> I don't know uh, what that was, but uh, Prestige 56, I mean, that, that, ain't, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Uh... Can we look at popularity from here? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Size. Um, we have kind of went down one point in uh, Tri-State so far. Uh, but I mean, I ain't, I ain't too bad. As long as we don't uh, fall below uh, C minus, I'm fine with it. Uh, we can, you know, we got enough time to bounce back up. But everybody else, uh, we've gained two in Cold Black. Like every, uh, every couple of months. Same thing with the Maritime. Yeah. So roughly Canada, it's either one or two increasing mexico has stayed the same uk stayed the same oh yeah that one time he ran at the cork and hall that went up a good bit that's uh well no actually no it didn't actually stay the same that's hmm, kind of surprising uh but yeah that's you know we'll take it we will definitely take a southeast we're in the e minus that's good we jumped to an e in the new england region and we jumped to a d in atlantic good shit good shit we'll take it we'll definitely take it as far as i uh Trying to get the Colt. We already have importance in the tri-state area. At 51%, we just need to go up to 47 by either the Mid-Atlantic or some of the Great Lakes. Takes a huge fucking jump and surpasses the Mid-Atlantic region. We'll definitely uh, think about running a couple of Great Lakes shows. But uh, without further ado, let's get on with the show. You don't mind that it's red? That's for the next show. <laughs> uh, as uh, we start with a pre-show match. Fuck it. <laughs> Uh, this is Han, the, uh, his contract's about to run out, and I uh, figured ah, I might as well throw him on the pre-show match, just to be like, ah, fuck it. So we had uh, Adam Page versus Hanma, 10 minutes, with Page Adam Page defeating Tomaki Hanma. Boy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so sad. Glad Adam Page did get the win uh, with the Adam's apple. Nobody improved. Hanma the 64. God bless that man. 54 C minus. As oh wow. Fucking ACH defeats Chris Saban in six minutes and twenty seconds with a big bang attack. I'm surprised ACH did that well. He's usually been doing about fifties to roughly low, uh, high forties. There's a sixty one, I'll take it. No improvements. Alright. Uh yeah, just a regular match. But I'll take it. Oh yeah. This fucking. As uh Matt Taven and uh TK Ryan. The Kingdom, they go on Strong BJ. Strong BJ gets the win in 9 minutes and 36 seconds with the uh, Daisuke Sakamoto pinning TKO Ryan with a bridging German suplex. And uh, fucking Taven and TKO Ryan have zero chemistry. That's, that fucking Kingdom gets worse and worse. <laughs> uh, the more I book him. As Okabayashi with a 59 stood out. And it's getting better at his gimmick. He's a fucking main eventer. <laughs> Okabayashi. I didn't really want to push him that much, but I'll take it. And Daisuke's like an upper mid carder. Strong BJ for the fucking win. Good shit. It's, oh no! Oh yeah, I fucked up. I forgot they are both openers. As uh, Sammy Rivara defeats Caprice Coleman in six minutes. As a fucking terrible way to start the show. God. Rookie mistake on my part. That's fucking. I'm. It's on me, fam. It's on me. Let's keep it fucking going. But as uh, Sammy Guevara is celebrating, Penta El Zero Miano comes in and breaks his fucking arm. Yeah. Penta El Zero Miano, man, is on a. He's on a path. That's one down. How many more arms are gonna be broken? Everybody watch out. Intel Zero Miero. As then, we have a interview with Candice Lair, which we hope we did. As uh, right before she even uh, conducts the interview, she gets attacked by Veda Scott from behind. That fucking bitch. As uh, we would like to hear Candice thoughts of being the first ever woman of honor champion, but we fucking can't. We gotta wait. Fucking Veda Scott. A little salty. 
Uh, losing at the 15th anniversary, showing that uh, three-way dance. And Veda, oh yeah, she's... Um, it said it, she, yeah, she wasn't suited with her gimmick as being a, a weasel lawyer, so now it's just a gimmicky one. Let's see if it worked. Yeah! We did it! Bob average, we'll take it. As I got a 31 E+, plus off oh, this fucking TV taping gets better and better. As we have the boys in Dalton Castle. Taking on Beer Battered Cheese, the Beer City Bruiser, Bob Evans, and Cheeseburger. As Dalton Castle with a 50 good shit there, but uh, Dalton Castle did get the win with the bangerang on Bob Evans. Good shit. Well, uh, both the boys did better than fucking Bob Evans. Unfucking believable. <laughs> As we go on to our next contest, it is a singles match between Colt Cabana and fucking Jay Lethal. God damn, Ring of Honor main event at one of those fucking pay-per-views last year. Oh, what? What show was it? Damn, I forgot. It was in Chicago. I do remember that. But Colt Cabana gets the win, though. I'll, well, I'll be goddamn as uh, he gets the win with a Chicago Crab in 1420. Thanks to the air fans of fucking Cody. What in the fuck? As uh, Jay Lethal got a 76. Good shit. Any improvements? Oh, yeah. Boom, boom. Improving performance. Hey, yeah, I got 54. And it was set to steal the show so far. It has been the show. There's fucking no show to steal. But uh, as uh, Jay Lethal, as, as the bell sounds, Cody hits a crossroads on Jay Lethal, then grabs a microphone and says, Jay Lethal! <laughs> I don't know why. He wanted to scream like that, but... Jay Lethal, when you... You wanted this to be the end. On the 15th anniversary show. After the battle without honor. But you are mistaken. Because, see, we have only just begun, Jay Lethal. Because I already talked to Kurt Angle. And I already requested the match. Since you wanted to request the fight without honor... At the 15th anniversary show, I thought it was only fair that I request a match. You see, by my calculations, we're one and one in singles match. We need, I need this, Jay Lethal. I need to tell the world. I need to prove to everybody that I belong here in Ring of Honor. I need to prove to you. I need to prove to all these fucking marks that I am the man. I will be the face of Ring of Honor. Not you, Jay Lethal. So, uh, Super Card of Honor, with that special weekend, everybody wants to talk about it. You know, I've competed on the grandest stage, and that has nothing, that can't even compare to what this is going to be. CJ Lethal, me and you, Super Card of Honor, in a match that my father made famous, a match that my father had all across this country, all over the world. Now it will be a Texas bull rope match. Jay Lethal, there will be nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Both of us locked in with a bull rope bell in the middle. We're tied around by a rope. There will, we weren't going to do those four corners shit, no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to slap turnbuckles, no. We're not going to do that. One man will walk out the victor by either making someone submit or you're getting pinned. Either way. You will lose to Cody. People will remember the name. So I am the star that left him in the dust. I am the grandson of a plumber. And Jay Lethal, I will be the man who is better than you. I will be the face of Ring of Honor. Cody. Strong words. That's a strong man. So I got a 61. Good shit. As then, we go on to the main event of the evening. As, oh no, we didn't give him much time. As I'm fucking dying here. Hold on, no, I'm not gonna cut this. Okay, that's better. Fuck, okay. So, the <laughs> main event. Christopher Daniels taking on Homicide. With Christopher Daniels picking up the win in 14 minutes and 51 seconds. With the last right. I can't believe I fucked that up by doing it. Slow build. I could have swore I gave this guy, like, 17 minutes. Oh, yeah, because, like, that's two minutes of fucking uh, non-wrestling time. So that's how I, I fucked up. I could have gave 19 and been fine. I'm a fucking goober. I'm a goober. 
Fucked up, but that's fine. So got a 55. We'll take it. As how did the show do? 52 D plus, thanks to the fucking opener. God damn it. But we increased the popularity in all the regions but the tri state area, so, eh. Ain't bad. Ain't bad for the 5,000 people. That ain't bad. As uh, that will do it for episode 12. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Yeah.